Console Cloud can calculate a tenant's rent arrears in two different ways. It does this by either calculating rent arrears on a daily basis or by rent period calculation. While there are similarities between these methods, they can produce quite different results. For that reason, it's important to understand the differences between them when selecting your preferred method. Let's start with the default setting in Console Cloud, Rent Arrears by Daily Calculation. This is generally how rent arrears are calculated in all states and territories except Victoria and Western Australia. Using this method, rent arrears is calculated as per the rent owed, per day for the property. So if the rent per week for a property is $420, then the rent per day is $60. Console Cloud would then calculate arrears for that property at a rate of $60 per day. So if the tenant renting the $420 per week property has a pay to date of the 9th of June and misses their weekly payment on the 10th of June, then on the 11th of June there will be two days in arrears to the value of $120. When a tenant makes part payments of rent, Console Cloud adjusts both the amount in arrears and days in arrears. Let's say the same tenant paying $420 per week is paid up to the 9th of June and then misses their payment on the 10th of June. The 11th of June slips by and instead of making a full payment on the 12th of June, they make a part payment of $120. They've paid two days of rent, but they were three days in arrears. After the part payment, they are now one day in arrears and $60 in arrears. But what if the same tenant, when they were three days and $180 in arrears on the 12th of June, instead makes a part payment of $100? $100 is less than two full days of rent. Accordingly, Console Cloud will calculate that the tenant has only reduced the number of days in arrears by one and the amount in arrears by $100. The tenant is now $80 in arrears and two days in arrears. Using this method, Console Cloud calculates arrears based on the rent owed per period for the property. If a tenant misses a payment, they will be in arrears to the full value of the rent owed for the whole rent period when they are one day in arrears. Here's how it works. Let's say that the same tenant pays $420 each week in rent and their last paid to date is the 9th of June. Using this calculation method, if they miss their payment of $420 on the 10th of June, they will be one day in arrears to the value of $420. If they still don't pay the full $420 on the 11th of June, two days after their last paid to date, that tenant will then be two days in arrears, still to the value of $420. Using this method, Console Cloud ignores part payment amounts when calculating the number of days a tenant is in arrears. Nonetheless, it does account for part payments of rent when calculating the amount owed. Let's say the same tenant misses their 9th of June payment and then makes a part payment of only two days rent or $120 on the 12th of June when they are three days in arrears to the value of the full rent period of $420. Console Cloud will still calculate that the tenant is three days in arrears after the part payment. However, the amount they will be in arrears will be calculated as $420 minus the part payment of $120, that is, they will be $300 in arrears. Until the tenant makes a full payment for the current rent period, the number of days a tenant is in arrears will be counted from the last paid to date for a full rent period. In Console Cloud, you can change the rent arrears calculation method by going to Settings, Office, Rent Arrears Calculation. Note that unless you've got Office admin permissions, you won't be able to access this setting. 